All right, good afternoon, everybody. I am actually in Wisconsin today watching a really big system potentially coming next week that's really gonna screw up a lot of people's travel plans if the timing is right. Now, a lot of you folks expected to be storm chasing live in the Buffalo and Watertown, New York areas today, but I didn't think that was a very responsible thing to do because it looks like that snowfall is going to be spread out over a pretty wide period of time all weekend, basically. So it's not gonna be that shorter burst of heavy snow. It's going to be spread out. So that'll hopefully keep those winter storm severity impacts down a little bit lower, which we can actually see. And I'll show you that a little bit later on here. Because we have that bigger system coming next week, I really want to make sure that we've got all resources available for a full coverage event. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at what's happening right now this evening. If we go ahead and look at Radar Omega right now, we can actually see that we've got a band of lake effect snow, and that's setting up right here just off of Lake Erie. That's going to be traveling through the Buffalo area here. Uh, even up into the Watertown region here off of Lake Ontario, we should see some more lake effect snow develop here later on this evening. Okay, and if we go ahead and look at the single site radar, this is the Buffalo radar site. So this is a higher resolution version of that MRMS image. You can see you've got this big plume of lake effect snow and it's training over the same areas. Now this is a similar area to what we saw a couple of weeks ago with that lake effect snowstorm. However, this area here south of Buffalo got hit the hardest. It looks like today uh, we're actually getting areas in and just north of Buffalo really getting hammered with that lake effect snow already. And if we go ahead and look at the Montague radar site here, we've got our Watertown event already happening. Areas along Interstate 81 here are going to get dumped on. Let's talk about snow totals while we're at that, by the way. The National Weather Service snowfall total maps are showing anywhere around six to eight inches and down near Dunkirk, four to six inches in Buffalo. Now that's through tonight. Now on Sunday, it looks like another additional up to a foot, potentially up to maybe 18 inches on top of that are going to fall in the Watertown area. So we're looking at forecast storm total snowfalls to be measured in the feet. We could see two to three feet of snow really in either of these locations pretty easily. Now let's look at the winter storm severity index. You can see this in radar omega here. We've got minor, moderate, major, and extreme impact scales here with this. And we've of course got our reflectivity layered over this. Now, if we go ahead and look down near Buffalo, we've got those extreme impacts here in red areas like cold and all the way down to the state line. That's over the next couple of days here. So while this does appear to be an impactful event for the Buffalo region, it does not Look to be as impactful here as this region up here near Watertown. We've got this area of extreme impacts right here. Luckily, that's not the most populated area. In fact, it's pretty rural. Uh, you can see we've got a couple of towns here uh, like Rodman, Worth, Lorraine. However, what does concern me is the stretch of I-81 here all the way from south of Sandy Creek up north of Adams. That area right there is most likely to receive some of the worst impacts from this lake effect snow event. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the GFS, the global forecast model here. And we're going to take this all the way out to Wednesday at 6 p.m. Central Time. 7 p.m. Eastern time. We've got some snow being modeled here into parts of the Dakotas, maybe a rain event going on here in the Southeast. But what I wanna draw your attention to here is as we progress forward around Thursday in the afternoon, we've got potentially a snow event happening in parts of Pennsylvania and New York and possibly some more snow into Oklahoma, Kansas and other parts of the Midwest. That's going to creep up here to the Northeast. Now we've got this larger snow and mixed precipitation issue occurring all the way from northern Mississippi and Alabama all the way up into the northeast, that's going to pretty much get its way out of there, hopefully by Christmas Eve. But again, that could really mess with some folks' travel plans. And as we go forward here after Christmas, the day after, we could have another short burst of snow here move through the Midwest, but after that, nothing too major. Now, here's why I'm a little bit concerned with that, because this is just a model. There's lots of models, and I'm only showing you one. There's a lot of folks out there that are going to be upset by me just you know, using a week long run of the GFS. Now, the main point is that there most likely will be a snowstorm somewhere between maybe the 21st and the 25th. I'm really thinking the 23rd, maybe even into the 24th are gonna be the big days, but I would expect a live storm chase probably on the 22nd and the 23rd, 22nd getting ready and possibly the 23rd being a snow chase. Where? I don't know. It could be anywhere from the Midwest to the Northeast. Some models have been back and forth a couple of times, so the key message really is pay attention to local forecasts. It's going to be really cold. We're going to have freezing temperatures all over the United States next week. In fact, look at this. We've got negative temperatures here at the surface all the way down here into parts of Arkansas, even parts of Louisiana along the Gulf Coast here. 
20 degrees max temperatures down there, it's going to get really cold. So a lot of that precipitation that's going to occur really anywhere in the United States, it's going to end up being snow. In fact, it's so cold that sometimes it's hard to get any precipitation. So the big takeaway of this, once again, just be prepared for a potential travel impact sometime around Christmas. Of course, I'll be live if that happens as it is almost Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy New Year. Thank you for making this a successful year. I'll try to have another video here toward the end of the year separate from storm chasing kind of going back and highlighting all the storms of the year. But this has been one of my most successful years, and there is nobody to thank except for you folks, the viewers. Thanks again. Be sure to go follow on Facebook, Twitter, and subscribe on YouTube. Sorry for making just a really short update here, but I wanted to do something from the office where it's nice and warm because it's already pretty cold out here. Be sure to download that Radar Omega app and subscribe to the Radar Omega TV channel on YouTube, which I'll also link to right down there as well. Have a good afternoon, everybody, and I will see you here in the next couple of days.